This video is brought to you by the Yoga Traveler Pain Management Portal, your one stop for pain management through yoga designed to target your specific aches. Go to www.yogatraveler.online slash pain portal to find relief today. Hello, let's strengthen our psoas and quadriceps with Navasana pose. Why might we want to strengthen our psoas? Because these are stabilizing muscles that help us to balance on our feet. When we take a step forward, we are stimulating that psoas and increasing our, if we build up on the strength, we increase our gait as we come forward. So these muscles are important for stabilization. Let's try strengthening and then stretching out those muscles. For our short sequence today, if you have a bolster, some kind of pillow, it will be really helpful in the stretch part. You could also use blocks. I will demonstrate with blocks as well. Pillow is a little more comfortable. Block is a little more intense. So we'll demonstrate both. You can decide what works for you with what you have in your space. So let's start out with Navasana. Now Navasana is an abdominal pose, mostly that's what people think of, but it's also strengthening for the psoas and you'll see why in a moment. Lots of different ways to move into this pose. You can be on your elbows with your knees bent like so. This is probably the most gentle. If you have back issues, I would place my hands just underneath your hips a little bit to stimulate or to support your back. You could do it a little bit deeper, a little bit more intense by lifting and holding here, or you could keep your knees straight. This would be the most intense version. Now with all three of those, I can feel the abdominals and the psoas stimulating, getting worked a little bit. So choose your way. Know that we're going to be coming from a bent position to a straight position. So that might change your motion. I will do it with you all three ways. Let's try it here first on our knees. Inhale here, exhale, straighten. Inhale here, exhale, straighten. Now if that feels good to you, stick with it. Let's move up to here. Inhale, straighten, exhale, pull it in. Inhale, straighten, exhale, pull it in. If that feels great to you, stick with it. Last option, lift it up, straighten it up. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Stick with it, five more in either option. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Three more, inhale, exhale. Two more, inhale, exhale. Last one, inhale, exhale. Good job, lower it down, stretch it out. Hopefully you felt that all three versions should have been. This area might feel like it's burning just a little bit. Don't worry, we're gonna stretch it. First though, let's do some twisting. So take your feet, bend your, bend your knees, place the feet on the floor. Again, options, options are great, right? Let's take our hands behind our head and we're just going to do first, lifting the knee and placing it back down. So lift your right knee and your left elbow, twist them together and then place it back down. Other side, twist and place. Let's do it with breath. Inhale here, exhale, twist. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Nicely done. Maybe that seems too easy to you. Let's change it up a little bit by straightening out the legs. So we're gonna take first the right knee into the chest 
and extend the left. Inhale here, exhale. Switch, inhale, this has to go faster, right? Exhale, because we're hovering. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Keep with your method, let's do five more. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Two more. Inhale, exhale. Last set. Inhale, exhale. Nicely done. Put it down, stretch it out. Good work. We've done the stimulation that we're going to do for today. So now we need to do the stretching. Hopefully, you can feel that in your abdominals the obliques, the psoas, maybe a little bit of quad. The abdominals are also balancing muscles as well. We can't balance if we feel if we have a weak core or our balance can be compromised if we have a weak core. So this was a good quick workout for those stabilizing parts of our body. Okay, so a couple of options again. If you have a bolster, here's what it's gonna look like. You will place your feet on the floor and slide that bolster up underneath your hips. So it's on my hips, it's on my low back, and then straighten out your knees. What this is doing is it's supporting the low back, tilting our pelvis forward or upward just a little bit and allowing those legs to fall down to give a little length to the psoas, a little length to the abdominals. So this is the gentle way, feels really nice, it's gentle on your low back, good for the sacrum as well. You might just hang out right here. If you feel like it's not quite enough lift, then you would employ some blocks. The challenge with the blocks is they are not quite as wide as the pillow was. So we're gonna place two together right by each other there. I'm gonna scoot it up just a little bit here. Place them together. Again, I'm gonna come back over it and make sure that those blocks fall right on the curve of your spine, right on your low back. Then straighten out your knees. This will feel a little bit more intense, right? It's a higher level of hold. Now, I have the blocks on the lowest level. You could certainly turn them onto the edge. Just be mindful that that edge is maybe a little skinnier than what I have here. I personally like to support my low back a little bit, but get this nice stretching feeling through the front, through the psoas and hip, the hip flexors psoas <laughs> and the abdominals. And the idea in these kinds of poses is to try to let our body relax a little bit. So yes, it might feel awkward somewhat, but the blocks, the bolster, they are holding you up. They are doing the work. And all you have to do is try to let go. Try to let go of the energy that you just built up with our short um, abdominal psoas sequence and try to let the body take a moment to ease, stretch, and release. We build up lactic acid in our muscles when we stimulate them and the stretching helps to release that lactic acid so that hopefully when we're finished, we're not terribly sore. So allow your body to take a few deep breaths here. Nicely done. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale. 
Good job. Let's bend our knees to come off of whatever it is that we have under us. Lift your hips so that you can pull those blocks or the pillow out. And just pull your knees into your chest, pressing that curve of the spine down to the floor will feel nice. This is opposite of what we were just doing. So we do want to pay attention to um, the back muscles as well. And just let yourself roll to one side and gently press up. Thanks for joining this quick but effective strengthening exercise that will help us to have better balance.